exercises in these but sometimes I'll like pull up my treadmill and go for a walk in them or I will go on a walk like when I'm getting waxed I like shower and then do a little stroll over and then I walk back and my ears I don't know why my head sweats the way it does but my ears get like so I love you just toss these into the wash I like if I have a gentle wash that I'm gonna be doing I just pop them off throw them into the wash and they're good to go so I don't necessarily only recommend them for that, but if you're a sweaty person, they may work for you for that reason. <laughs> Is it serious? Is it fake? How can differentiate? You love to underplay. It's how you run away. Serving silence to my face. It's like you I'm watching Formula One because it is the last race. What is it? The last race of the year? Yes. Okay. Last race of the year. There's actually a lot of really cool things that are going on with the race too. So I'm like not fully listening because I'm looking up visa information for us for our trip coming up. I'm not going to say where just yet, but we have a trip coming up. So I'm excited about that. Not too much about it just yet, but I'm doing visa research. It's not even eight. I'm nervous. It's epilation time. I charged it and I am terrified, but a bit excited. I'm gonna move the camera a bit closer because I'm gonna be doing some stuff. Epilation time. I've never epilated before in my life. I'm excited to try it. This is the epilator I picked up. It's from Braun. It's a Silk Epil 9. Never tried it and we'll see what happens. So I have pretty a bit of baby powder. It's from Burt's Bees. And I want to start with the side of my face. With epilation, I heard you're supposed to pull as taut as possible. Apparently the baby powder really helps with um, the picking up of the hair on the regions that you're doing it on. So we're just gonna start with the cheek. There are different modes. Oh my god, it sounds terrible! Okay, there are two different modes, I guess, for this one. I want to start low and slow. Oh, oh, I'm scared. I'm going to start somewhere where it doesn't have very much hair, like right here. I can feel it pulling, but it's not that much. It just feels like when... I tweeze except a lot faster, but I can see why it hurts. Like bringing this down there, <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be like. Well, that hurt. Okay, I have pretty thick hairs down here and that's where I'm working my way to. That hurt. That was the first one where we're like, oh. So, um, so I hurt to go up and down and then side to side as well. But down here I am, yeah. There was one hair that it really wasn't getting, and I realized I just had to go a bit slower. Like, I want to get the rest of my kind of sideburn situation, but that hurt. And the hair is pretty long, it's not the most ideal for appellating. On the, this side of my face, the hairs are ideal for it so I just want to like maybe skip this little side because I'm being a coward today and I'm just going to do a bit on the sides of it though. I was just going too fast so slow and steady I guess. It didn't even get everything and it hurt so much. Okay the beard here's gone. So it worked for that. Maybe I just put way too much baby powder. I look like Santa Claus, oh my God. Okay, that hurts. I knew it hurt. I knew it hurt. That did 
hurt. I got a little bit of bleeding right here, but honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But then again, I don't have a lot of face hair. I have a little, a little chin strap over here, but it's not the worst. Oh my, I'm just covering baby powder. But that was okay. I'm terrified for my stash. Also, I grew up my armpit hair for this to see, but I think it might be too long. I think I might have to wax first and then do this, but I don't know. Experiment sake. We'll see. I'm going to test out a few other hairy parts of my body. Let's see. Oh, that hurt. This swivel is helping, but I've had to go over this box so many times. I think it's because the hairs are a bit longer, so I just have to go very slow and press in a little bit more. I'm having a little bit of oatmeal. Um, oatmeal, oh my god. Um, why can't I remember? I'm having eggnog while I edit. I'm like editing. I'm back to editing. I love it so much. This has just been like so invigorating and so nice to do. Yeah, this like I feel like I'm doing what I'm meant to do right now. I might be able to hear my boyfriend in the background. He's watching football. Oh, that eggnog's good. So I put a sprinkle. My tip for eggnog to make it a little more mm, is to put a sprinkle of like nutmeg or pumpkin spice on it. I don't know what it does. It just feels a little more festive and good. So it's eggnog season. It's Christmas season. I'm so excited. All right, back to editing because I want to get these videos scheduled and ready to go for all of you next month. This room, our space, our camp. Love in